Patrick Montgomery was in court. Jonathan Manapa will stay in federal custody. No, I don't take responsibility at all. Everyone, welcome to the show. 25-year-old Maryland resident Jacob Theres was seen on the Lower West Terrace of the Capitol. Um, He maneuvered his way to the front of the police line, and at one point, an officer was struck in the head with a metal chair. That officer fell to the ground, and Theres was seen on video. He was pointing at the officer and laughing. So after mocking and taunting that injured officer, Theres decided to join in the violence. He began picking up items off the ground. He started throwing them at the police line. And Thera's stepfather, who was also there, and it's his co-defendant, Douglas Wyatt, he picked up a four by four piece of wood and he handed it to Thera's. And then Thera's chucked that at the police. So the large piece of wood struck one of the officer's helmets and he temporarily lost consciousness. He also bit his tongue as a result. So he was bleeding. um, You know, he's got a head injury. And according to the sentencing memo, As of March 2022, that officer was still experiencing symptoms of a concussion. He was apparently becoming dizzy for no apparent reason. So Ferris didn't stop there. Um, He about six minutes later, he found a police duffel bag that had a bunch of crowd control spray in it, basically pepper spray guns. He removes one of the canisters and he douses the line of police officers with it. Well, after that assault, Theres left the Capitol grounds, and the prosecutor said that Theres deleted his Twitter account. So Theres was arrested on November 14th of 2022, and he was indicted on charges of civil disorder, two counts of assaulting officers with a dangerous weapon, entering restricted grounds with a deadly or dangerous weapon, disorderly conduct on restricted grounds with a deadly or dangerous weapon, physical violence on restricted grounds with a deadly or dangerous weapon, and physical violence on capital grounds. In January of 2023, Ferris pleaded guilty to one count of assaulting officers with a dangerous weapon. So he was looking at a sentence of up to 20 years in prison, three years of probation, and 250,000 in fines. However, the prosecutor requested 84 months in prison, three years of probation, and 2,000 in restitution. And Ferris has really managed to rack up quite a rap sheet. At only 20 years old, Theris was convicted of second-degree assault of his stepfather, the one that was at the Capitol. Theris apparently jumped on him. He tried to choke him, and he tried to gouge out his eye. For that crime, Theris received a one-year suspended sentence. Never did time in jail. And his stepfather obtained a protective order against him. Less than two weeks after that conviction, Theres was hit with another protective order. According to the sentencing memo, Theres was sending sexually explicit and threatening letters to a, either a girl or a woman. Of course, they didn't give the name, but they said that he was stalking this person, this female. And her protective order was approved, and Theres was ordered to remain at least 100 feet away from her. Well, about seven months later, Theres' probation was revoked because he violated both of those protective orders. Theres was caught at his stepfather's house throwing a party while his stepfather was, I don't know if he was out of town or just not at the house at the time, but... Evidently, he also made contact with this woman or girl that he was stalking. So she called 911. So the police arrive at his stepfather's house to arrest him. He opens the door, sees that it's the police. He slams the door in their faces. He locks it. And then he fled into the woods, it said, behind the house. Following this incident, Thera's sister sends a text message threatening the female um, the the one that her brother is stalking. And then the stalking victim finds out that Ferris made a video of himself urinating on her driver's side door of her car. And he included a caption with that video saying, quote, don't snitch on me, bitch. For all of those crimes and violations, Ferris was sentenced to 90 days in jail only, 
and three years of probation. And once again, the judge gave him a break. Farah's only had to serve 30 out of the 90 days. The other 60 days were suspended. So that was in 2018. Then in 2019, Farah's breaks into one of his quote unquote friend's apartment and he steals his computer, his speakers and other various items because Farah said he owed him money. He owed him like, I think it was less than $100. So he steals thousands of dollars worth of stuff. And by the way, Ferris was on probation for that crime when he took part in the Capitol attack. And so in that case where he breaks into the friend's apartment, he was convicted of theft. Once again, he's given a sentence of five years suspended. Doesn't have to do any time. Three years of probation and 4,000 in restitution. And then in November of 2021, so this is after <laughs> after the Capitol attack, Thera's 2018 probation was revoked for, quote, unsatisfactory completion of probation. So he was sentenced to 60 days in jail for that. They again suspended 45 days. So he spent only 15 days in jail. I mean, I just can't figure out why this guy supports Trump, right? I, and I can't figure out why he keeps committing crimes. It's such a big mystery. So anyway, the sentencing hearing transcript isn't available for purchase yet for this case. So I'm not sure what was said in court or if there is spoke, but U.S. District Judge James Bosberg presided over Thera's case. And when all was said and done, he sentenced him to 40 months in prison, three years of probation and 2000 in restitution. Obviously, not anywhere near long enough for someone like this, someone who literally caused long lasting physical injuries to at least one officer, you know, and a a guy who can't go more than a few months without committing a crime. But, you know, I, I have so many other thoughts on this case. Like when I first read the affidavit that his stepfather handed him that piece of wood to throw at the police. I was like, why would he do that? Oh, my God, I bet his mother's pissed that his stepfather would do that. Now that you know the history, I'm thinking, oh, my God, the stepdad just wants to get rid of him. I mean, he's like, oh, let me see how much trouble I can get him in. You know, let's see if I can get him locked away for a good long time, get him out of my hair. And then my other thought was, I wonder if the the cops in in prison are going to point and laugh when Theris gets knocked on his ass. Um, you know, Theris has finally entered the find out phase. Yeah. And I bet that girlfriend that he stalked, I bet she's relieved. I bet she's pointing and laughing right now. Anyway, guys, if I hear any more, I will let you know. Thank you so much for watching and listening. And please like, share, and subscribe. Please donate if you can. Love you all. Take care. Talk with you soon. 